Happy Homestead and welcome to our three minute Thursday. Today is a fairly simple thing that we're doing. Um, so it's really nasty and rainy out here. We've done all of our outside chores. So I've come inside to do some of our inside chores. And these are two, um, some soap boxes that I made soap yesterday. And if you don't know how to make soap and you're interested in that, I'm gonna attach the video. Um, so that you guys can be able to watch that. So here is my silicone molds and they're really, really, really easy to pop out. Um, so I just pop those out and what I wanna show you how to do is cut soap. Now I bought this entire kit off of Amazon. It's fairly inexpensive and if you're gonna be an avid soap maker, it's a really, really good investment. So I have been very pleased with my, with my soap and this is a ruffled cutter. I'm not sure if you can see that, but this is a ruffled cutter and it makes beautiful cuts in your soap. And so I make this for us. I've heard wonderful, wonderful testimonies um, of people who buy my soap. I have a lot of local customers. I actually have um, a lot of Christmas orders going in um, for Christmas presents. So this is a batch that I did just a few days ago and now it's time to cut. So this is the next day and I'm ready to cut my soap. So I'm going to line my soap up on my um, soap cutter and you you take this and once you, this is adjustable as well so you can adjust it how thick or thin that you want your soap. And I have mine at a pretty good thickness that my family likes. And all you have to do is press it down and your soap is cut. So I have two bars to do. And like I said, it is a fairly easy process. And once you get done cutting your soap, of course I have some drying racks that are actually in my bathroom that the soap is gonna go on. And as you can see, I'm already almost halfway with the cutting the soap and it makes good size little bars and then these will go on the drying rack for about four to six weeks and like I said I have a video that will be attached to this that um, will teach you everything you need to know about soap and there are no dyes, no chemicals, no fragrance put in my soap whatsoever. So people that have had issues with things like eczema um, and other type skin issues, super sensitive skin, um, find that my soap does amazing. I also had a lady tell me who is uh, now a regular customer of mine, she um, had real bad issues sweating in the summer and found that when, and then she would break out from a really bad rash from sweating so bad. And she told me that she had, her skin has never looked and felt so great since she's been using my soap. So I, w I wish that I could get video testimony of all the people that have enjoyed the soap so much um, so that you guys could hear how wonderful it is to be able to make your own soap. But I've got my first bar done. It's just that easy. Um, so happy homesteading, y'all.